Round one. This one's scheduled for 10. Had to affirm all 51, six losses, two draws. Very tough. He's on the comeback trail himself after retiring following a defeat at the hands of Marvin Hagler. Hilton, the aggressor early on here. We're in round one. Talking to Matthew Hilton earlier today, he, one thing he doesn't want to do is fall into the trap of trying to outslug somebody like Vito Andrew who in 58 fights has been to his knees only once, and that was briefly against Hagler. Hilton dancing, circling, Andrew Affermo moving forward. Hilton with the left hand, scoring lightly to the jaw of Andrew Affermo. Andrew Affermo retired. He had a tendency to be cut a great deal, and you see it in his face. He has paid the price as a professional boxer. Hilton with his back to you. Solid right hand to the rib cage. comes back. Fans expecting a great fight here at the Montreal Forum. It's been talked about for weeks. For the Hiltons, this is the first major challenge for any of the brothers, and it is coming on the shoulders of Matthew Hilton. Just 19 years of age. moving well as he has always done in the ring this is junior middleweight division and again Hilton third man in the ring is Carmel looking at him from the corner almost closed by the scar tissue that has accumulated over the years Section, doubling up almost solely there with his right hand. And finally, Guy Jutra separates the two. Andrew Affirmo, very, very strong. He has the ability to muscle a man around the ring. And there he staggers. Andrew Affirmo with a left hand to the side of the head. There's the uppercut scoring heavily. Hilton is dominating this fight. Now we're early on here. On the comeback trail, Andrew Affermo has fought four times, won three of those bouts by knockouts. Shoot that right hand! Won all four, of course, and the one thing he said and emphasized to the media here in Montreal is no cuts in those four fights. Uh, he has got a cut now, and it's beginning to open up over his left eye, or his right eye, rather. And in the corner now, Hilton is really going to work. And Jutra, the referee, steps in. Over the right eye, you're beginning to see signs of blood in Andrew Affermo. To say he has never been knocked out, most of his knockouts on his card, as defeats are TKOs, all of them are. And most of those by cuts. Busy here in the first two rounds, controlling the fight and carrying it to Andrew Affermo. The danger, of course, is, although he's just 19 years of age, that you punch yourself out as the fight goes along. You have to pace yourself. And 
this is just Matthew Hilton's 19th professional buzz. There's a good left hand, another sharp jab. Hilton Sr. in talking with him earlier today said the one thing I'm not concerned about is Vander Fermo being stronger than Matthew. Matthew is tremendously strong. And has possesses a wonderful boxing talent and a wonderful approach to the game. Very level-headed. Waiting out the full one-minute respite, and we're set for round three here. One thing we've noticed as we've watched Matthew Hilton come along as a professional is that he has followed his father's instructions in the ring to the letter. He's excellent at translating that in the ring. His 18-0 professional records would indicate that. I would think that either in this round or the next one that Dave Hilton would suggest that Matthew coast a little bit to prevent punching himself out. Although, again, we're dealing with a 10-round fight here. But the thing is, looking at the record of an and of Fermo to knock him out seems very, very difficult. Hilton, who is landing the sharp, clear, crisp punches. Andrew Fermo seemed to be glancing, missing the target. The inaction, perhaps. When you want to Case of Andrew Fermo. And age. You must always consider age. Andrew Fermo, born in Barry, Italy. Your career back began 15 years ago in 1970, and he's been fighting ever since through the pro ranks. And over that career, Ando Fermo has fought seven different world champions and was a world champion himself. There's Hilton again. Now he goes on the attack once again. The last stage is here in round number three. Turned it around with that uppercut and turned at the same time out of a Fermo into the corner and went to work. And there's the strength in return by Matthew Hilton. You saw Andrew Afarmo move Hilton against the ropes, and then you saw Hilton just turn him around and move him up against the ropes. And the bell to end round number three. And so far, the TV network got an opportunity to see the real talents of Matthew Hilton in his fight against Francisco de Jesus last January, where he used strategy and discipline and fought what Dave Hilton Sr. says was his best fight by far. And that win over to Jesus, who was a ranked boxer, moved Matthew in his sixth place on the World Boxing Council's standings. A victory here for Matthew Hilton, and he would move much closer to that shot against the championship, if not right into position to fight for the championship in the junior middleweight division. State of boxing today he has three champions and three different federations to choose from there's Hilton again going back to work left right and Andrew Fermo if he had any thoughts of taking Matthew Hilton lightly it does not anymore
junior middleweight champions are, of course, in the WBC, Thomas Hearns. The WBA champion is Mike McCollum of Jamaica. And the IBF champion is Carlos Santos of Puerto Rico. Ando Afermo trying to use that strength and again simply being out muscled. And Guy Jutra stepping in to end any of that. Change of jabs there. Good combination by Elton. Ando Afermo trying to come back. All arms and elbows and whatever it takes. Try and control and wear down his opponent. And that's one of the tactics he's had. And Something that comes with 58 professional fights. Notice the way he moves those shoulders in. But look at Hilton, fight right back out of it. Power his way back out of it. Looks at the uppercut. And to a firmo. Again into a clinch. And again Hilton, back on it. We're in the fourth round of this one, scheduled for 10. Big uppercut, followed by a combination. And Hilton has Ando a firmo against the rope. trying to power his way out of there and not having much success finally moves into a clinch but Guy Jutra has to separate. Now Ado Afermo trying to work to the inside against Hilton in the late stages of round number four here and there's the bell. Lots of action in this fight. Good exchange there at mid-ring but then Hilton Finds the mark once again with first the left, then the right. And as Ando Afermo tries to duck away, Hilton just sets it up and throws that popping left hand followed again by a right. Misses with the left. An action-packed bout, but it has been mostly Hilton. There's a big uppercut. And it has been Ando Afermo taking all of the punishment here. Fermo is apparently in trouble and there seems to be a time has been called by referee Guy Jutra and they're going to call the ring doctor in. It appeared to me, just looking at the picture, that his mouth, that fight has been stopped. A bad cut over the mouth of Andrew Fermo and it opened up very suddenly in the corner. And once again, the bugbear that has haunted Vito Andrew Fermo has struck once again, a cut over the mouth. It just seemed to open up in the corner. 